Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce how can we use the Autodesk Inventor to create one of the 3D model for a control box. So you can see the flat panel here. We have all the dimensions, which is the height of this box, 350 and 200 width, 125 deep. First thing you need to do is go to new. Sheet Metal, Create. Before we start making drawing, we need to change some of the information from default. The requirement of this drawing is material aluminum 6061. Thickness is 1.5. We click on the little pen at the end to change the rule. And then material, we change it to aluminum. 6061. Thickness of that is 1.5. Save and close. Drawings, I choose any one of uh, the face and I use the center point of rectangle 200 tab 350. Zoom out, move to the middle, finish. And that's the back panel. So let's do the face. That's she metal and face. It has been selected and also the default automatically to create 1.5. Apply and finish. French. I would like to bend or fold these four panels in 125 uh, deep. First I want to change 125. That's bending up. Second one. The and the fourth. Apply. The leaves. So the leaves is from the information we can see there's 20 mil. So that's all 20 mil around and the cutting in the middle. 20 mil. Select the edge. Don't forget, you always have two edges. Select this one, this one, three, and four. Never choose the wrong one, otherwise they're bending out. Apply. Four bending parts. I'm happy with these results. What I'm going to do is create the bend in. See that? That's 10 mil. Again, we go to fringe. Go a little bit closer. We select this one. And we don't want to bend 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees. We want to change to. 180. So that's bending in. However, it's bending up because there's no radius here. So we need to select it. this one there so you can see. So that's bending in. Okay, accept it to this side, to this side, and also the fourth side. All right, so now all around. We almost finished this drawing. 
So let's double check. I missed this cutting. So this cutting through one panel to the other panel. What we need to do is uh, unfold it one side. So let's do this view. We need to cut through here. What I'm going to do is use unfold this one and this corner. Now apply. Accept. See that? They already unfolded. They unfolded like this. What I'm going to do is uh, doing this cut out. This cut out is cross over two panels, one from the back, one from the side. Just remember the size is 100 by 8. And then we get the, uh, the radius. 7 mil in between. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 colors. So first thing first, come, to, come into sketch, select one of the panel, and go to use the rectangle. I just put anywhere I want, any sizes, and click on OK. Use the dimension. This is 100. And this is 8 mil. And that should be in the middle as shown from the drawing. So that's 50 mil and 80 mil from the top. That's the top one. 80 mil. That's a folding line. With this line is uh, 50 mil. Half and half. Now it's okay. Go to filler. Already been set two mils. All around. So finish this this cut out. We start to work out. One, two, three, four, five. Need another five. We select all of these and plus all of these. It doesn't select everything, but you have to press on the shift and direction. Choose this one and uh, 15 mil. And how many we want is five. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five, no, six of these. Two, three, four, five, six. And press OK. They're all out. And we select finish. Then what we need to do is a uh, sheet metal. We've got cut. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the uh, we say the cut through the thickness. So they cut, they've been cut through now. So you can see from both sides, you can see the other things from the cut out. Now what we need to do is a refold. That's refold function. We're going to select this panel and then when it's so we need to select this line and apply. They refold it. So now we can see they're pretty good. What I'm doing now is uh, making these little holes through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3.5 in diameter, and this is in the middle, and that's 87.5. Okay, back to drawing. 
I'm going to select this face. I just want to pull anywhere I want. 3.5. Now we use dimension. This one to the 100. This point to this one the 10 mil. The pretty much is in the center. Okay, second hole. Three point five ten. Eighty-seven point five. I'm going to find the middle middle point of this line. They change to green. I'm pretty happy. I just cross over and enter for now. Just a little bit there, and I'm happy with these results. Now I use the mirror function. There, and I select this circle and mirror align this line. Apply done. Let's come to this corner and now this one there. Okay, mirror this, this one, mirror line, apply. Goes up, done. Now mirror. Select this one and this one. Then the mirror line. Set this one. Apply. And done. And now this one. That must be gone. Let's finish, finish my drawing. Turn, just turn a little bit around. I use the cut function from the sheet metal. I need to select all of these. This one there. This one there. Okay, the old cut through. So if you see this, I'm very happy with this result. So I go to save my file. On the setup from the desktop. Inventor, open it up. I say this is a sheet metal box. When I finish this drawing, I want to create drawing with a title block. First thing I do is I open new IDW format. And I use the base. They will tell me there. And then I use the top view and the right side view. So I can move around to the corner. They still come into my box there. So I change the scale to half, half of these and the 3D in there. 
and OK. So that's the final finish. You can edit. Well, thank you very much.